pumps are now running. There will be no injection until that flap is pushed down. So uh, we do have the rubber seals on these injectors. It just holds these bottles on a hell of a lot better. Um, so go ahead and hold that at a fixed position where it normally would be around idle. See how we go until they start injecting. Starting to now. Uh, it is looking surprisingly even. And disappointingly, it doesn't look like we have a balance issue. This looks pretty damn good, but uh, we'll continue to run it for a more significant amount of time and see where we're at. We'll compare them on a level surface. On closer inspection of these injection quantities, after about uh, 30 seconds to a minute of running in the idle position, all of them are bang on, except cylinder six, ever so slightly more. So cylinder six is running slightly richer than the other five. The other five are bang on. Whether this is enough to cause an issue, I'm not sure, uh, but I believe it's probably still within spec. So the jury is still out on this. I might suggest having this fuel distributor balanced correctly anyway. Uh, the difference might be greater with more um, a wider open throttle and more air being ingested. Uh, we didn't actually test that. And obviously you'd want to use proper measuring cylinders, not plastic bottles, but I didn't have any for today. So anyway, the jury is still out on this one. Maybe that minuscule difference is, in fact, enough to make a difference because very clearly that's unburnt fuel that's ejecting from cylinder 6's exhaust port. I think we do need to balance this fuel distributor correctly, which is unfortunate because it was professionally rebuilt, allegedly, by the previous owner. 